Hi, my name is Diana and I am a Canva Verified Expert. Welcome to our channel where you can learn everything about Canva. We have a series of Canva tips and tricks and this is episode 8. Today I'll share 10 new tips that will help you get the most out of Canva. I'll share new apps, features and hidden tools that you probably haven't seen yet. Also, at the end, I'm gonna recommend another video with more Canva tips and tricks that you are going to love. Let's start with tip number one. Imagine that you are inside the Canva editor and you want to recreate a trendy design effect and you don't know how to do it. Or maybe you saw something cool in one of our tutorials but you forgot the steps. You can actually access our tutorials inside the Canva editor. You're gonna go to the menu on the left and open apps. From here, you are going to search for run the tutorials. You can either hit enter or click here. And here's our Canva app. This is the one that you need to click to open it. And from here, you will have access to our tutorials. You will see the latest tutorials in here, but if you want to search for something in particular, you can use this search bar. So let's say that you want to follow one of these Canva tips and tricks video inside the editor. You're gonna go to the search bar and type Canva tips, hit enter, select the video that you want to follow. So let's go for this one. I'm gonna click one time and this is going to bring the video, the tutorial in my Canva document. And then you can close this window, but before you should subscribe to our channel by clicking on this button and then close the window. Now you have the tutorial here on your document and then you simply need to double click on the video to play the video. So I already did the double click and now I can play it. How to look for this happens. And I can follow the tutorial from here. I can pause the video I can play again, I can increase the volume or reduce it and you can also adjust the size so you can work on your design while watching the video. Please let me know if you find this app useful and also if you find anything that is not working quite right, if there is any bug, please let me know in the comments so we can adjust and make this app even better. On tip number two, I'm going to show you how to create this trendy animation. You see that there is text rotating around the Canva logo and we're going to create this animation that you see here so you can attach it at the end of your short videos. We're going to go to Canva's homepage and from here you are going to open the videos tab. Go to mobile video, you're going to elements, and from here, you are going to type gradient. Let's go to photos and see all. Add any of these options to the background of your design. I'm going for this one and I'm placing it in the background. You're then going to find your own photo. I'm going to use a photo in the library for the sake of this tutorial. So I'm going to photos and search for portrait. Let's go for this one. And then let's go back to elements and use a round frame. We're gonna insert the photo inside the frame. If you need to adjust the position of the photo, double click on the photo so you can adjust it and then hit done. We are then going to add a text box by pressing the key T and I'm going to type follow me, dash, follow me again, and then another dash. So you should have something like this. We are now going to change the font and I'm going to use the font Horizont which is free. And then we're going to effects, go to curve, and you're going to move this slider to the right until your text looks completely rounded as a circle. So it should be something like this. We are then going to increase the size of this text box and position it around our photo. We can also play around with the size of the photo so we don't have something completely huge on our design. So let's go to position, layers, 
let's take this image in front and adjust the size okay i think this is good i'm going to change the color of the font so let's go to text color and i'm going to choose one of the colors from my background so let's see something that is subtle but that we can still read so i think something like this or maybe this one and lastly i'm going to add a like comment and save icon below if you want when you go to elements you can type add diana munoz to find exactly the same elements that i'm going to use in here i'm going to take this heart here and then by clicking on the three dots go to view collection i'm going to add a comment and a save icon you will be able to use these icons if you have a canva pro account but if you only have a canva free account you can search for heart go to graphics and then select one of these free elements right here you can also search for comment or save to find some more free icons i'm going for this because i like this style of icons and then i'm going to change the color for the same color that we used on the text box once your design is ready you are going to select your text box go to animate and from here scroll all the way down and then select rotate this motion effect is completely free so you can click on this motion effect and that's it let's preview our animation and this is how it looks let me know if you want me to show you how to create more of these trending animations and also if you like learning with us and you want to have more perks and exclusive educational content click the join button so you can learn more about our membership. On tip number three, I have a free app in Canva that you can use to create gradients with this trendy noise effect. Go to the left menu and open apps. From here, you are going to type gradient generator. This is the one that I'm looking for. And then you're going to click on this icon. From here, this app is going to automatically generate a color palette for you and also the position of the colors on your gradient. So you can use this gradient as it is by clicking this button that says add to design. You have the image here so you can work with it in your design design but if you want you can also customize the gradients i'm gonna use the colors that i have here on these color palettes so i'm gonna click on this square and then i'm going to type this color here so this color is f263 to f i'm going to customize the following colors and i'm going to add the following ones in here I have customized every single color on this gradient and I can already add it to my design. But what about if I want to try a different color composition on this gradient? You can activate this toggle so you can lock your color palette and then hit randomize. As you can see, we have now a new gradient, but we're using a different color composition. I can continue clicking on this button to generate different gradient compositions. Positions. I really like this one so I'm going to add it to design and then there is also another setting that you can adjust. You will see that there is a noise level slider and if you move it to the right you will see that you get more of this noise effect. So you can increase it by moving it to the right or you can decrease it by moving it all the way to the left so this one has zero noise i'm going to add it to the design and then i'm going to add another one with more noise than this option here so add to design and then we have these three different gradients created with exactly the same color palettes and different levels of noise. Remember that if you don't have a color palette, you can leave this box unchecked and then simply click randomize. This is going to generate new color palettes every time. And then if you find a color palette that you like, you are going to lock it here and click on the randomize button to find different gradient variations. 
On tip number four, I have an app that is going to save you a lot of time when designing. Let's say that I'm working on this design right now and I want to insert into this laptop mockup the design that I have here on page eight. So instead of doing all of these, we are going to use the app Design to Image. Let's go to apps and type here design to image. This is the app that we are looking for. So click here and then click convert to image. From here, you can select either PNG or JPEG. If you have a Canva Pro account, you will have access to the size, transparent background and compressed file options, but I'm not going to touch anything here. I'm going to select the page that I want to convert into an image. So I said that I wanted page eight. I'm going to select it and then click export. And I already have the image ready. I just need to click here and I have it already on my design and I can adjust its size, you know, like play around with the design so it fits my laptop. Also, if you want to add a fun touch to your image, you can insert the image into one of these frames. So let's say that you want to try the dragon frame. You will have your image like this. You also have the clover option, tulip, and finally the flower. I find this app super useful and I see myself using it again and again. I want to know if you guys find it useful or not. On tip number five, I have a tool that many of us tend to forget that is available in Canva. And I'm going to show it to you because it's super useful. Let's say that you were cleaning up your Canva and you were deleting some documents here and there. You clicked on one of them, you moved it to the trash and then it disappeared. But you can actually restore these documents. How do you do it? You go into the homepage and you will see that on the left panel at the bottom of the screen there is a trash icon. You're gonna click here, you'll be able to see and restore the document from here. So you are going to click on these three dots and then select restore. If you really don't want to see this document at all, you can click on delete from trash. Remember that you only have 30 days to restore these documents before they are automatically deleted. And you cannot only restore Canva documents, you can also restore your images and videos. On tip number six, I have something that maybe some of you already know, but I had to put it into this video because I know that some of you don't know about this yet. So I want you guys to go to the comments and let me know honestly if you knew that there is a Canva desktop app. If you didn't know that there is a desktop Canva app, let me show you how to download it. You're going to go to canva.com and you will see this little computer icon. If you don't have your Canva app installed yet, you will see that when you hover on this icon, it says download app. Because I already have a Canva app installed, it says open the app. Another way to download your Canva desktop app is by going to canva.com com slash download and from here you will see this purple button that says download canva i'm currently using a mac so that's why it says download canva for mac but there is also a canva app available for windows so let me show you here what happens if i click on this icon that says open the app Remember that I already have installed Canva to my computer. So when I click here, it says open Canva. So I'm going to click on this button and I have my Canva app already opened in here. This experience will look exactly the same as the one we see on our browser. The only difference is that the app has been optimized for desktop use. So if your computer is not so powerful and sometimes it's a little little bit slow to work on Canva from the browser, I do suggest that you download the Canva app and try working on it. This app will have all of the same features that you find on the web and you will also need access to the internet to use it. 
We tend to associate Canva with social media templates, presentation templates, even whiteboard templates. But did you know that Canva also has profile picture templates? You're going to go to Canva's homepage and from here you are going to type profile picture. Hit enter and from here you will find over 3000 templates that you can use for your profile picture. I really like all of these templates because they have a lot of cool ideas that will make your profile picture really pop. Let me show you some of the templates that we see in here and then I'm going to show you how easy it is to customize one of these templates. I found a pretty cute one and it is free so I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna click on the template and then click on customize this template. From here, all you have to do is to upload your photo if you don't have it uploaded into Canva yet. So go to Uploads and then by clicking on Upload Files, you'll be able to access the photos from your computer. I already have my photo uploaded here. So all I have to do is to drag my image on top of this photo and I already have a new profile picture. If you want to try some other templates available in Canva, you can simply add a new page go to design and then from here you can scroll down to find more templates if you like any of these options simply click on the template to bring it to your design and then add your own photo to it to download these profile pictures simply go to share download from here you can select your file type i'm gonna leave it as png i'm going to select only page one done and then download. Remember that I'm using a free template and that I was able to download it for free without any watermark. Another tip related to templates is that you can find wonderful wallpaper templates in Canva. So all you have to do is go to the homepage and use this search bar to type wallpaper and hit enter. By default you will find a lot of mobile wallpapers so the wallpapers that you will be able to use on your phone and personally I love this because I can change the look on my phone with just a couple of clicks by using these beautiful templates and you know that you can customize further these templates to really make them your own. Now if you want to find templates for your computer you are going to add a keyword to the search so you're going to type desktop wallpaper and then hit enter now look at all of these wonderful wallpapers i really love them and i actually use them a lot on my computers so i really do love this tip i would like to know what do you guys think about it on tip number nine, I have a Canva Pro feature, which I know many of you guys don't know yet because it's a little bit hidden, but it's so, so, so useful. Let's say that you were working on this design right here, but you remember that you had a previous version of your design that you think looked better, but you don't remember exactly what colors you used or which kind of elements you were using. You closed your design and you reopen it to work on it. So this little undo arrow is not working anymore. You're gonna go to file and from here you have version history. This one has the little crown meaning that it's available only for Canva Pro users and if you really need to use this feature and you have a Canva free account I do have a free trial of Canva Pro in the description. Coming back here we are going to click on version history to see what happens. This is opening the version history window and we can see here different versions of the design. So when I click on this previous version I can see my design behind in time but there is only four minutes in difference so let's see what I had created last week this one is from March 13 so let's see what happened to this design in here we can see the different colors that I used the background it was different and also if we go back to the current version we now have these icons in the previous version we didn't have anything and when we click 
on the previous versions we can see different colors and we can even see the starting point i started just from a text box and then we are able to see the evolution on this design when we click on the other auto-saved versions of the design. So let's say that I liked better this previous version from last week. I'm going to restore it and I can do it by clicking here, which is going to restore this version. This has affected my document and now I have a previous version of the design in here. You can see it in here and if you're not happy with the previous version and you really want to go back to the version that you had previously you can click on undone and go back to this version but i was able to do this because i didn't close my document i'm going to show you a safer option to restore your document you go back to file you're going to version history and let's say that i want to restore again this version here instead of clicking on restore this version i'm going to click on this this little arrow and then click make a copy. This is going to create a new document to restore this previous version. So now I have a copy of my design with this previous version. And then if I go back to my previous design, I can simply close this window and have the last version of my design. I really love the last tip of this video because it can help you be super creative and this one is a trick that I love to use. If you didn't know, you can download SVG files from Canva if you have a Canva Pro account. And an SVG is a file like this one that I have here. These files, you can stretch them out without losing the quality of the image. So you can see that I'm going really really into detail with this design and my lines are not getting pixelated at all. Another thing that I love about these SVG files is that you can change the color to them. So in this case I have a red color and black color on my design and I have access to these colors from the toolbar so I can click on any of these colors and change it from here. And now I have an element with with my branded colors. This is pretty simple to do so let me show you how to do it. On the left panel you will see an option that says draw. I'm going to open this option and then from here you can select any of these three options. I'm going for the middle one. You can check the size of your marker. I think I'm good with this one and now I'm going to start creating a doodle. So I'm going to create my heart shape and now I'm gonna draw my arrow in here now I'm gonna change a couple of colors on this doodle so I know that I can change the colors to them so I want my arrow to have a different color so I can then change it later on when I re-upload it to Canva. So I have this version here and let me duplicate this page because I created this arrow with just one streak. And if I want the arrow head to have a different color, I won't be able to change it. So what I need to do is to draw again this arrow in two different strokes. So here is one and now the second one. There you go. And I'm going to delete this black one here and change the color to this element here. So let me add a different color to the arrow head and position this part of the heart in here. Okay, so now I have these two different hearts and I'm going to increase the size of these doodles so they fill almost the entire page. And now I'm going to share, download, this is page 22, so I'm going to select current page, which is 22. On file type, select SVG, this one has the crown, so Canva Pro only. And then 
I personally like to work with transparent background SVG. If you need to have the background, simply leave it as it is. But I'm going to take this box and then download this element. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing for this heart right here. I'm actually going to add some other color to this part of the arrow so we can change even more colors on this heart. So let's go to share, download, SVG, transparent background and this page is page 23 so I'm going to download it. Now I'm going to add a page and then I'm going to re-upload these SVG files. So I'm going to upload, upload files and then I'm going to select the two different hearts that I just created in Canva. Now let me bring them to my page and now I have the two different SVG files in here. This one because I only have two different colors in my illustration, I can only change these two colors. But in this one I have one, two, three and four colors. I have access to four different colors in this menu. So if I wanted to have a different color on the arrow head, I could do it. So let me select a brown color for the arrow head. Let me do the same for these blue things in here. And then for the arrow, let's go for a green color. Why not? And for the heart, let's make it orange. So that's how easy you can customize your own SVG files. And just to show you one more time that these elements do not get pixelated at all. I'm leaving here our Canva Pro for trial and here's our previous episode of Canva Tips and Tricks. I think that's it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!